Good morning, guys. Uh, it's raining. I actually want uh, an explanation from my producers on where we are shooting. How would you guys call me out? Like, let's be a little bit more serious. I know the show must run, but we must not shoot during the rain, man. No. No. Truth is, I was joking about the rain. Revved Up has got to go on anyway. Whether it's raining, whether it's shining. And personally, I feel the show must go on. We must rev through the rain. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Revved Up. Now, this week, as we continue taking you through the motor world, we focus on even bigger cars, more luxurious cars. We go back to the classics, have more super celebrities on the show, explaining why pretty much they have the cars that they are driving, and also give you some tips get you into the traffic mood. What exactly must you do when you're driving on the road, specifically here in Kampala? Hey, I'm Andrew Kabura, and as we continue our shooting of the biggest motoring show in Eastern Central Africa, we're still at the Nakawa Business Park. The rain seems to be reducing, so let's rev through this rain and welcome to the show. On this edition of Revved Up, Car Care, brought to you by Shell Helix. Every seasoned driver has had their fair share of breakdowns, accidents and mishaps. So how do we prepare for the inevitable? Here are a few basic tools every driver should have in their car. A car jack is very important to keep handy in case of blowouts while on the road. When changing the tire, you will also need a wheel wrench for removing the car's lug nuts. This is an essential tool for every car owner. A flashlight may be a lifesaver if you happen to break down at night or need to take a look under your car. A couple of car spanners and a screwdriver set can help you quickly repair small car problems such as a loose battery terminal, slipped hose clamp or anything else that needs tightening. Nobody likes the sound of a dead battery, so keep a pair of jumper cables nearby to get you back on the road and on the way to a replacement. Finally, make sure you always carry a spare tire. Sticky situations are a part of driving, but with these tools in your car, you'll be well equipped to handle them. Being a leading car brand is certainly not an easy task. The big names in car manufacturing are constantly producing sleeker, faster and more modern cars. In order to compete, you must create a car that decidedly stands out from the crowd. And BMW promises to achieve this with the ultra-new M760 Li xDrive. Its exceptional twin-turbo engine packs a walloping 600 horsepower and races from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a mere 3.9 seconds. The level of speed is adequately controlled with specially designed suspension and a focus on handling. The M760 Li xDrive is undoubtedly a pretty car. Its stylish shape seems to glide across the ground, showing off its distinctive BMW grille and LED headlights. Inside, the car is just as modern and inviting featuring leather trim and electric seats. The driver is provided with an over-the-top range of features and devices, including auto stop-start, surround view cameras, gesture control, a touch command panel, and the driving assistant plus system, to name just a few. 
The BMW M760 Li X Drive is everything a modern car should be. Powerful, stuffed with driving features and contraptions, but roomy, comfortable, undeniably chic, and visually stunning. With a star like this in the showroom, other cars will have a run for their money. Right, he was Uganda's first representative in the famous Big Brother house. Pretty much the biggest representative Uganda has had. Choka guy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Andrew? Right, good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not what's, too the, bad. what's the towel for? Boss, I'm just coming from playing squash. It's something I picked up uh, last year, so I'm just trying to stay fit. You've been doing this since last year? September last year, yeah. You know, trying to stay fit, which looks like you also need. But anyway, it's not about you, it's about me. Let's go on. Can I just say, for the sake of our viewers, that uh, if you play squash for that long, it should kind of show on your body. It doesn't show on Gaetano's body yet. But Gaetano, thank you very much for coming to the thank show. You, thank uh, you. Uh, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. Just how much of an impact do you think that uh, movement to the house, and whatever happened, which we shall not talk about, uh, how much do you think that has affected you uh, in terms of growing your career? Well, without a doubt, BBA, and it was BBA 1, Big, Big Brother Africa 1, was my pedestal. It was my stepping stone to yeah. be where I am right now. Without it, the career choices I've made would have never happened at all. I would have probably continued doing law, which is what I was doing. Mm. I changed my career towards entertainment, radio, television, acting, yeah. you name it, emceeing. And uh, it's been fantastic. Uh, and you're, you're such a traveler. You, you've, you, you've worked in Kenya, you've worked here. Is it one of the reasons you got the Subaru? Because apparently it's, it, it's such a traveler. It's such a strong traveler. Yeah, the Subaru. Actually, um, I have moved around quite a bit. Uh, I've worked in Kenya. I've worked in South Africa. Um, and I'm now working in Uganda and living in Uganda. Mm. Uh, and uh, there are so many cars to choose, you know. But hey, our roads are not, are not simple. So I didn't want to get a 4x4 four four yeah. because 4x4, four four, I just don't like these high cars and it just feels like a tank. I'm not very comfortable. But I wanted something that would you know, work with our roads yeah. and at the same time, I'm still low enough, four-wheel drive. And the Subaru in Kenya is big. big. And somehow I just gravitated towards it before I knew it. This is like my third Subaru. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be changing. You, you, you've kept it Subaru from the beginning? Pretty much, pretty much Subaru all the way. I had one time, I think I had a Toyota. Yeah. Uh, because again, this is Africa. Everybody has to have a Toyota at one yeah. time in their lives. And then I switched to Subaru and I like the, uh, you know, the, uh, the Forester. I like the boxy look. Yeah. Uh, it's lots of space. Uh, all wheel drive if you want. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I just I love, I, love, I love it. At my age, who am I trying to impress? You know, it's not about speed anymore, yeah. you know? You know that's boom. When you hear that sound, you feel like, yeah, it we goes. go, we go. But I figured, you know what, let me go with a non-turbo. It does that, it's got good mileage. It's uh, very good on, uh, you know, up country. But at the same time, it handles very well on mm -hmm. tarmac. Mm -hmm. And I don't need, where in Uganda are you going to open up and just go? Unless, you know, and I, I don't go up country too much. Yeah. So it works perfectly for me. You're a family man. Uh, you're a married man. Yes, Did, yes. did, did facts like those come into mm. your planning for a car? What, what, what exactly, because you, you say you like the Subaru. Yeah. But what exactly were your first few ideas or issues before you got a car? What, what did you think? Think about fast i used to love speed so when i was thinking of the subaru you have to remember if you think of rallycross the subaru at, until a couple of years back was the it car it was just speed but now it's no longer in the in, a, in motocross uh, i don't know why but so what i thought about is like something fast it looks good uh and uh i think those were the things and then i thought about you know when i do have children eventually yeah something that children can fit in here and mess around and do their thing what, what are those two three things a youngster should look out for before getting a car well look a car is not a toy you know don't think about it as uh okay in a way it is a grown-up it's a grown-up's toy yeah you know you, you got to think can i afford the car can i maintain the car it's very important and if you're just starting out getting a car i don't think going with something very flash and expensive will do you any good because maybe you're just starting out you find that man i've got to put petrol i've got a dent over here i've got yeah. to change the tires it's very i would go go simple go with something that works with your pocket mm. go with something that will get you from a to b and is fuel economical yeah you yeah, know yeah. i would you know something small and as you get older as you move on with your career then you can sort of 
expand and get bigger, go with the, the, the big 4x4s or the Mercs or the BMWs and nice and flashy. Otherwise, think your pocket. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, your pocket. Uh, thank you very much, Guy. I really Pleasure. appreciate it. I have one question I have to ask Guy just before we leave this very set. Uh, in your view, which one do you think is that one moment in the Big Brother house that Ugandans remember you about the most? That's very easy. That's extremely easy. When I was swapped with the housemate from the UK, and they took me to the UK, eh? so I went to the UK, and then I came back. That was, my, that was the highlight everybody would remember. <laughs> I'll be going to Tanzania soon, by the way. Thank you very much, Guy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate, much appreciate it, Guy <laughs>
All right, later on in the show, we shall be showing you a new machine, part of our road review, one of the new cars, Luxarius as well, to be in Uganda. And of course, we shall explain all its specs and also why you definitely need a car like that. But for now, let's park. Let's park right here and go back in time. Show you some of the classics, beautiful machines. Take a look. The very mention of an SUV brings to mind adventure, reliability, and power. But none more so than the latest Chevrolet Trailblazer, which packs speed, efficiency, safety, and durability into one dynamic vehicle. The Trailblazer is economical as well, providing fantastic value for money. Sporting a 2.8-liter diesel engine that produces a maximum 236 horsepower, the Trailblazer lives up to its name, as it is certainly capable of blazing a trail across almost any terrain with a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. Now, one of the reasons someone could go out there and buy an SUV, for example, the mid-range SUV, is space. Because you have lots of things to do with your car. You have probably a big family that you want to travel with anywhere across the country. So for starters, it's got three rows with the seats. So one of the things you can do to make sure you create yourself more space at the back is actually to fold the last two seats. And this is how you do it. You just pull this. Pull this as well. And then you've got all this space for a boot for starters in the back. So if this is part of the stuff I'm traveling with that weekend, I'll just put it there. Let's just imagine these are the baby's bags. Well, it's just camera equipment. Let's put it there. And look at how much space I'm still with. Up to seven passengers can fit comfortably inside thanks to its roomy interior. The driver has plenty of useful features available including a multifunctional steering wheel with cruise control, Bluetooth and music control, a stylish AC control system, plus numerous power outlets. Of course, we, we shall take this car for spin, which is something I'm waiting to do right now. But let's talk about one of uh, the, the more interesting segments about this car. 59,000 US dollars is what it will set you back. What does that come with minus the performance issues like warranty? What, what does the customer out there get? Because 59,000 is not, is not the cheapest of cars now, is it? Okay, I will agree with you. 59,000 is not everyone's take home. Okay, number one, you have three-year warranty or 100,000 kilometers with this vehicle. I can't take three years of warranty on a vehicle that won't last you more than three years. So I'm boasting of that. I'm comfortable to give you three-year warranty because I know you're buying value for your money. That's number one. Number two, I'm giving you a full year service plan on this vehicle. That means for a full year, I'll service your vehicle. All this is just to simply give you the comfort that you're buying a product that's worth the money. Number three, you've got uh, lots of other options. You've got uh, the latest in technology for audio systems, My Link Touch. It's a system that couples with everything that you have. You have an iPad that's uh, loaded with music, you can just simply load it on there. You want to store your contacts, uh, it's giving you Bluetooth co connectivity. You can take your calls, you can receive your calls. You have your full phone log on there. Recently, I was just watching on TV, mm. 
police is planning on cracking down on uh, on people manipulating their gadgets yeah, yeah. while they drive. This is going to offer you that solution. You don't actually have to bother. Just simply touch your screen, call whoever you want to call. I mean, the, the police will see you talking, but the they will not see know. It. Exactly, <laughs> you'll just be enjoying the ride. Douglas, whoever they knew, cut again to forget to forget to go anymore. To get to the let's go and let's go and have a feel of what. It is like on the road, so you can also have a feel at home on your couch on what we might be enjoying this other side, right? Thank you. Great. So what we're going to do now is uh, to try and take this Chevrolet Trailblazer off the main road see how actually good it is when it comes to, to, to the murky roads to the rough roads all right so there we go let's start with the uh, with the big descent on uh, what we call a rough road so basically if you're going to the village if you're going up country if you're going to check out that farm and you're still a corporate uh, this is why you could as well get at a chevrolet because it's uh, it's very good off the roads well i'm sure you'll experience the uh, it's handling while you're off-road. Yeah. Uh, already you can tell the, the, the bumps in the road, but I'm sure that you still have good control of the, of the steering wheel. Yeah. Okay. Besides that, you have all the safety that comes with the vehicle as well. Uh, the traction controls, the hill descent controls, you have the four-wheel drive uh, capabilities. All these couple nicely to make sure that you have a good riding experience with the Chevrolet Trailblazer. In case of uh, safety as well, you've got uh, 12 airbags to play with uh, for every passenger within the vehicle. Yeah. So uh, pretty much uh, we're saying this is the car for you and your family. So these are the benefits we're talking about. Right now I'm not stepping on the brakes. We're going up and still won't move behind Thank the Thank you anyway. very much. Yeah. Now you can experience the heel assist control. So the vehicle will just hold in place yeah. while you wait to, to join, join the, the main road. road. Brilliant machine. Very comfortable. Very stable on the road. Engine just keeps demanding for more. And now we are going uphill, but look at how comfortable we are going uphill. It's, I feel like all these other cars we are meeting are just struggling to catch up with us. Well, that's the Chevrolet Trailblazer for you. Gives you everything. Gives you the comfort, gives you the luxury, gives you the off-road off capability. Medium range, good pricing, good after sale support. What more would you be looking for? The Chevrolet Trailblazer makes both everyday life and daring adventure look easy thanks to its incredible versatility and resilience which help it to stand out as one of the very best in its range. Alright, so uh, I've had to go back to my original car because definitely I don't enjoy, I, I don't own the Chevrolet Trailblazer yet. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the car. Beautiful machine, good for the corporate, can also go off the road at 59,000 US dollars as well for you to have it in your own parking. You've also enjoyed the celebrity. Good talk coming in from the car itself, plus uh, of course the tips that we always give you on Revved Up. Now do remember to join us on Facebook, that is Revved Up Uganda. And also we want to thank our various sponsors that have made this very, very, very possible. That make sure we bring you the biggest cars straight to your living room. We want to thank UAP Insurance who have done everything and also given us the shooting area want to thank shell helix of course we'll also make sure they power revved up and kira motors so thank you very much for joining us shall be back next week with more stuff bigger and better from me bye back to my car next week on revved up